Hey what's up guys, it's Psycho Sam here and welcome back to another episode of Unity Tips and Tricks and yes we are actually turning it into like a show I guess a series that we're gonna run on the channel because I saw a lot of support on the previous video the episode one which I super appreciate by the way thank you guys so much for that and since you seem to want more of these videos I decided hey why not make one more meanwhile I'm in Turkey and all that kind of stuff so here is episode two in case you want to watch episode one which I strongly suggest in case you haven't yet make sure to click the link the description because I'm going to leave it there and without further ado let's start episode 2 haha <laughs> that rhymes Alright, so before we begin, I just quickly want to mention that if you're interested in getting more involved with game development discussions, seeing more Unity tips, learning and teaching game development, and even promoting your own projects and stuff like that, make sure to join our Discord server, Elite Devs, where you can do all of that and even more. And if you want to check it out, make sure to click the link in the description because I'm always leaving links there. I know I'm a nice guy like that. Oh, and by the way, I also want to mention that I am going to start including your tips in these videos from now on as well so make sure to let us know your best tips you would like to suggest other developers and even me by leaving a comment down below and of course i will be giving credits and you'll be featured in the next episode if your tips actually get picked too so that that'll be a look a little cool interaction that we're gonna have but now let's get started so first tip of this day is the fact that you can use presets with unity 2018 so these presets can basically be used to save configurations for your components and then you can use those presets when you add the component on another game object or if you were to wish you know switching between presets on your current object you're highlighting so for example if you have like a weapon in your game and you have two ideas for one component like two different damage outputs go ahead and save them as presets and then just load them into the component and try them both out now for the second tip I want to bounce back to another video actually this is going to be a little bit fun to cover up so episode one of unity 2018 basics which is actually like literally the previous video that i uploaded where we took a look at making terrains in unity and you'll recall that we use the paint height tool to paint all over the terrain so that we could have like a target height that the terrain sets itself to and well it happens to be that i forget to mention something which is the fact that you can actually literally click one button and unity will fix that for you instead of you having to paint all over the terrain so if you basically pick your height and then press flatten terrain in the inspector unity will automatically flatten the entire terrain to match the target height you entered this is so useful when you want to have like a flat terrain and lower and raise it from there without close constraints and i mean of course like all credits to you guys okay there we go hope you're happy uh <laughs> but basically all credits to you guys thank you so much for actually mentioning that in the previous video i did i honestly forgot about it and then you mentioned it i was like oh yeah i'm so stupid but yeah there we go you have the honor of becoming skyu tv for one day <laughs> but now let's continue so you can also have multiple inspector panels open in unity at the same time actually so in case you have like two or multiple game objects that you want to tweak the components of you can actually spawn a second inspector lock it so that it doesn't change the game object it inspects when you actually highlight another game object and it will remain locked to the components you want to see and tweak simultaneously now i just want to give a quick shout out to all of our developers out there you guys are amazing and this tip is for you so if you're writing your own script and you have like a wiki page an online document or something else you would like to check quickly or perhaps even share with others who use your script you can actually use the help url attribute over your class after that's added you can simply click the little help icon for the component in the inspector panel and it will read direct you to the destination URL you set in the attribute and this is very useful when you're making like an asset for example and you have a very specific page on your website you would like to redirect people so that they can see the documentation for it so you just add it as a attribute and it automatically takes care of that for you and for our last tip here I just want to share that I love using the preview window which is basically the window you can use to preview all of your prefabs right away very easily by just clicking on them 
And in addition to that, which is actually the initial tip here, you can right click the panes header to turn it into like a dockable window. And then you can attach it to any other tab or pane freely. And you can also keep it having floating around, obviously, in case you want to do so. I mean, who am I to judge that, right? But this is very useful in case you have like your custom layout like I do in Unity and you don't really want the preview pane to be stuck at one spot. So you just click it on the header, boom, you can move it wherever you want and you can attach it wherever you want as well. And that will pretty much do it for this video, guys. I know that this one was a little shorter. I'm aware of that since we only covered five tips in opposition to 10 tips from the previous video. And I decided to go with five for this time around due to lack of time. But I do promise that I, when, when I'm back from Turkey, when I'm back from my vacation, there will be so many more of these and you'll get more tips about Unity. Now, don't forget to click the like button on this video in case you want me to continue with the show and leave a comment down below stating your own tips, tricks, and other features you would like to share with me and also everyone else watching, obviously. And besides, first and foremost, I'm very active in the comment section, so you'll probably get a reply. I'm not saying guaranteed, but you're gonna get a reply, okay? And you'll also get the chance to be featured in one of these videos in the future where we basically cover more tips and your can actually be a part of the video. And if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe too so that you stay up to tune for new videos, new tips and tricks about Unity, and all the other th crazy shows that we basically run on this channel. We have quite many actually that are running right now actively, uh, but I'm going to narrow it down a little bit depending on what you guys enjoy and what you don't enjoy, so don't worry about that. Before ending the video, I also want to give you a huge shout out to Richard Stance, Cupola, Trombert MCP, and GI Jojo for all of their support on Patreon and obviously everybody else supporting me through there. In case you're interested in pledging a little bit and supporting the content and the channel, you can check out the link in the description which says Patreon and you'll be taken to there. Now with that being said, thank you once again for watching and I will catch you in the comments or in our Discord server. See you guys, have a good night, peace out. Mm -hmm.